Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the NARS Velvet Matte Stick Foundation. I've been wanting to try this foundation for a really long time. NARS has a really big cult following and some of their products are like a one so I have really high expectations for this foundation now before we get into the specifics of this foundation if you're brand new here don't forget to subscribe I do upload Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and if you love beauty videos tutorials hauls reviews this is the place for you and if you want to click that notification bell while you're at it hey boo do it and to all of my oldy but goody subbies hey girl it's nice to see you again okay so let's just get right down into the specifics of this foundation so at Sephora this foundation retails for $45 so it's not cheap NARS is definitely like a mid-tier to almost a luxury type of brand so I feel like that's very consistent with their overall pricing this actual coverage is supposed to be medium so this is not a full coverage foundation but it is buildable medium that's what they said in the little description so how they recommend that you actually put this on you use the foundation stick to apply it to your skin and you're supposed to use your fingers to smooth it out and melt it into your skin now the other side of the foundation has a makeup sponge and this is supposed to be replaceable as well so you know once it gets dirty or whatever um, you can buy a replacement now you're supposed to use the makeup sponge to go ahead and touch up specific parts of your face. I'm gonna insert a clip showing you guys on my hand how this sponge blends out. Now I believe to me it looks like it blends out really well. Of course we're gonna test that out on the face and see you know, what things look like. Uh, so before we do the foundation application, I want to let you guys know I have primed my face. On the T-zone, I put in the e.l.f. Mattifying Balm, which is one of my favorite mattifying primers. And on the rest of my face, I put in the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is the one for oily combination skin. And it's been on for about 10 minutes, and I like to just let my foundations kind of like sink in there, you know, so that they're nice and ready to like grasp onto the makeup. Okay, so this is the sponge side that I was telling you guys about, um, and this is the other side with the foundation stick. The actual shade that I got is Trinidad Dark One, and it seemed like it was supposed to be the best match for my skin tone, so we'll see how things go. Okay, so let's just start by adding it in. See, this is not too bad. This does run slightly on the pink side, but I can work with this. And it does glide on very smoothly. Actually, I almost don't even need that much. Okay, now I'm going in with my fingers and just blending that around. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I've blended it with my fingers. I haven't done anything, I haven't set it, nothing. It does look very like glisteny on me, but I will say that as I was blending it with my fingers, not too much foundation came off my hands, so um, yeah, I think it blended really, really, really nicely. I will use the makeup sponge, like they suggested, to touch up certain areas. The blending with the sponge actually looks really, really nice. I did focus it around my eyes and also around my mouth because these are the areas that do have fine lines and where product sometimes tends to just collect if I'm not careful about it. Um, but I am really happy with the sponge, although it's a lot stiffer than something like a beauty blender. Um, I think it did a fabulous, fabulous job. So I'm going to go ahead and go on with the rest of my face. And I'm going to come back and let you guys know my first impressions. And of course, we got to do a wear test to see how this looks. And I'm feeling like six hours is going to be where I'm going to cut that off. Um, so far, so good. But uh, let's see how it looks with the rest of my face. All right, so I just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. Now, 
let's talk about first things first when this foundation goes on it does blend beautifully love that initially I was worried because before I set it or anything it just looked like it was gonna be greasy and I was like ooh like nah -uh, nah -uh. <laughs> I almost panicked but now it looks really nice uh, it does not look greasy at all I don't look oily now of course we got to see how long that lasts throughout the day but I think that this foundation in conjunction with mattifying primers seems like it's gonna do the job so I'm gonna go about my day it's a pretty warm day today it's in the high 70s slash 80s so in that kind of environment like I do sweat <laughs> so we'll see how this holds up um, let me know if you guys have tried this foundation what are your thoughts what were your experiences I'd love to hear them down in the comments what up guys so I've been wearing this foundation for about three to three and a half hours and I wanted to do this check-in outside so you can see what it looks like in the sunlight I mean it's absolutely gorgeous like ballin flawless like I want to wear this every day I wouldn't however say that this is like a matte stereotypical matte foundation uh, the finish is more like my Smashbox, um, uh, that stick foundation that I wear all the time, but it is very beautiful. I can see if you're very, very oily. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking that you might already be oily, but um, it does look really nice, right? So I'm going to give this another three hours and then we're going to see how this looks. I'm back for another update. So just to let you guys know, I've been wearing this for eight hours now. Oh, look, it's one of my wigs up there. <laughs> um, so I want to let you guys know, basically, as I said before, this finish is not matte. It's more like airbrush skin with like a hint of dewiness by the end of the day. I am oily combination so I mean look by now you can see I'm slightly oily but it still looks really nice in person it didn't settle too much into my smile lines so that's always a good thing but I feel like that always depends on how hydrated I am and not so much on the foundation but it does look really nice I do want to hear some of you guys' inputs as far as what your experience with this is but I would say I would wear this like all the time I mean look how bomb this is look how beautiful this is but I would say don't rely on this if you are extremely oily to like prevent oil because that's not the kind of foundation it is but it is really convenient with the stick and the also the um touch makeup sponge like that's awesome I love that um so yeah let me know your guys' thoughts and leave any video recommendations down in the comments as well I would love to hear what your experiences are and what you guys want to see from me in the future I love you guys and I will see you in the next video oh don't forget to check out these videos right here if you got some time and you want to chill with me some more all right bye